All right, this is the last part of my tutorial. It's using nonlinear deformers to create a pipe. It's probably the quickest and easiest way. Just start a new scene and go to create poly primitives and pipe. And in the middle of the stage, just drag out a pipe about oh, so big. Hit five on the keyboard to turn the shader on. And then the inputs, we want to give it some divisions. So just go to your uh, subdivision height and change it to 30. Perfect. Then under your animations menu, we want to go to create. Uh, deformers and nonlinear and bend. Go to your inputs and where it says curvature just drag it from side to side and you'll see that it bends. If you can hear something coughing in the background it's my dog. Um, so my apologies but he's he's not too well but uh, I'll actually put up a picture for you at the end. Anyway or now. See? Cool. Alright uh, moving on and you'll see that um, yeah, the, the pipe actually bends. Um, if we change the low bound, what it's going to do is it's not going to apply the curve, the curvature to the, the bottom part of the pipe, which is what we want at the moment. So just change that to zero. And we're going to jump into the front, front view for now and hit five on the keyboard. And if we try to line this up horizontally we actually can't do it and the curvature is in just numbers not degrees it's because the numbers are actually in radians so to figure out what 90 degrees in radians go to Google and type in 90 degrees into radians uh, 90 degrees yeah, degrees into radians whoops radians and hit enter and there's your magic number. God, I love Google. Uh, so just grab that number, uh, we're only four decimal places, and just pop it in. And there, bang, it's 90 degrees. Um, next thing is we want to get rid of that long part at the bottom. So we want to go to face, face mode. And we're going to select all the faces between in the straight part but not the bottom part. Uh, the reason we don't want that is we want to use that bottom part to close the hole later on. So just hit delete and then go to object mode under your polys menu uh, polys menu you go to mesh and separate. Uh, next thing we select that bottom part um, we're going to center the pivot. Uh, just go to modify center pivot and then holding down V we're just going to drag it up and it'll snap in line with the other vertices of the other pipe. Select both parts and then just go to Mesh, Combine, and then select all the vertices. And we're going to uh, merge them again. So Edit Mesh, Merge. This is so it's one continuous piece. And that's it. Uh, that's how we make that pipe. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to delete the history, center the pivot, and there you go, it's finished. Um, that's probably the easiest and quickest way. Um, and that concludes part three. And that's the end of the tutorial, guys. I hope you've had a good time. Uh, oh, you can probably hear my dog, but uh, he's enjoyed it. I know he has. He's been pretty quiet. He's been learning, and I hope you've been learning. And what else is there to say? Um, look forward to your feedback. Uh, my name's Elliot. Catch ya.